Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another tattoo video. Obviously the main thing I'm known for over here is my stick and poke videos. But I haven't actually uploaded one in a while. So I decided the last couple of times I tattooed to just take some footage so I could chuck it into a little video. I've got three new tattoos since the last time I saw you guys and I knew you'd be interested so I thought I'd share them. I've got a cackling into my leg. Ow, claws. Fucking hell. Ow! I'm having a day where I'm muddling all my words so I'm gonna try really hard not to make this too rambly. I often get asked if my stick and pokes are still here, if they have faded to answer the question yes they are still here they don't fade they are tattoos so they're permanent and since i last saw you as i said i've got three new ones so first of all i've got this little heart on my finger i don't have any footage of me doing this one because it was quite impulsive what am i talking about they're literally all impulsive but i did this one back in january so around three months ago and i just didn't think to record it's on my ring finger and i did it at the top so obviously i had some finger tattoos before but these ones are hidden and easy to cover with rings so this one was definitely a little bit more out there it's the only like visible finger tattoo i've got although i definitely want more i really like this tattoo i'm proud of it it's the perfect heart people are usually quite surprised when i say i did this myself and i'm glad that it came out so good because obviously it's on my finger so the reason that i've got this on the top bit is it's meant to be like a promise to myself it's important that who i'm with in the future respects and loves me but it's also really important that i respect and love myself and that's a little like promise to myself i guess cringy i know but i thought it was a cute idea the reason i did this at the time i did is because back in december i felt for someone for the first time now at the time i thought i was in love i don't know if i was necessarily in love since then i have been in love 100 percent can say that i don't think that back then was necessarily love i think i was just falling for someone and kind of going down that route but i think it got cut just before i'd like actually been in love with this person anyway it turns out the person was leading me along the whole time so i got my heart broken for the first time and i was really upset really frustrated going through all the emotions and that is the time that i decided to do this and i still love it now i still love the meaning i still love the tattoo no regrets with that. So number two of the three tattoos is the one I did around three weeks ago now. It's healing really well. I never feel the need to really talk about my tattoo healing process because they always heal really well. They're not like piercings. I've never had like infection or a load of pain or anything. And I know once I get bigger ones in the future and like professional ones, they'll probably take longer to heal and they'll probably be more painful. But right now they've all been fairly small so they haven't been like sore to heal. Anyway, this is the next one and this is probably the worst stick and poke I've ever done. Luckily I've learned to love it and I still think it's really cute. It definitely could have been worse. Worse. If you're using a tattoo stencil, obviously you put that on your arm or wherever you're tattooing and you can keep wiping at it and it won't wipe the stencil off. As I don't have stencil paper and I am going to get some, I just draw the tattoo design on by hand, go over it like one time and then by the time I've wiped off the excess ink from like the first layer, the whole design is gone and then I'm just working off of the dots I already made. So it's quite a hard way of doing it. Anyway, this is a prime example of messing up and the stencil disappearing too quick because I didn't have the lines far enough apart. The circle's pretty good because I did the circle first. So I still had like the outline. So that's a pretty good circle. It's more the rays. I've learned to love it. It definitely isn't as bad as it could be, but some of the rays are further apart from the circle and some of them are longer and stuff. Um, it was worse originally, but I managed to fix it a little bit, but that was definitely a bit of a fuck up. The meaning behind this is pretty simple. It's not very deep. My favourite season is summer. The sunshine always makes my mood a million times better. I always just feel a lot more positive and happy when the sun's around, so I thought why not tattoo the sun on me and have it with me 24-7. Whenever I look at it, it almost reminds me of like sunny days and the feeling I get when the sun is out. Also, I've always liked the look of sunshine tattoos, so I really like this. And the third of the three is the one I did last night, which is this little jigsaw puzzle piece. I'm right-handed, so up until now, I'd done all my tattoos on my left side, but as I had seven that side and none on the other side, I thought it was probably time to try and even it out. So I tried drawing it on this side with my left hand and I managed to get a pretty good outline. And then I stick and poked it and I actually kept it equally as tidy as the drawing, which I'm incredibly surprised about. But I really, really, really like how this turned out. I'm really happy with it. The lines were a little bit less straight and the dots are a bit further apart. So you can kind of see close up that it is a stick and poke, but I don't actually mind that. Like I'm not too fussed. So I absolutely love this piece and I'm so glad now I've got like tattoos on both sides. It actually has a few meanings to it, but the top one is even from a young age my whole life I felt like I didn't fit in anywhere and I used to get bullied and then when I came out of school obviously I was like an unusual kid because I wasn't in school at like 13 years old my dad passed away I've never really had an ordinary life and I've always felt very out of place but just recently I think I realized that I've come to terms with the fact that everyone including me fits in somewhere and I've kind of found my little community and I always find people now that are similar to me. I don't feel so out of place anymore. 
and everyone has their place in the world just like a jigsaw puzzle piece fits in somewhere so yeah those are my new tattoos as you can tell i've obviously got a little bit more confident and gone a little bit bigger because i started off like nearly a year ago just doing three lines on my wrist and i remember literally how freaked out i was that i had three lines on my wrist and it was nothing and since then i've got so many more like i'm starting to have a few bigger tattoos which obviously they're nothing crazy but to me they're they're bigger and they're more confident so thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy hit the thumbs up button let me know down below what sticking products you've got and the meanings behind them because i really like hearing about other people's and i'll see you all next time Mwah. goodbye